you first hear the news and what was your initial reaction? Uh, I guess I got a text at about 4.57 in the morning. And uh, obviously excited and um, just anxious to get back playing. Are you pleased with, from what you've seen on paper, that how the deal came out? Yeah, I mean, if, if, if we weren't, the one thing through all of this is that our union stayed unified. And if, if we weren't happy with it, then we wouldn't have the deal. And, and that's, that's the most important thing. was used on the other side is the, the die on the hill analogy that was used over and over again. Was that your guys? We never had a die on the hill. We just wanted a deal that was fair for both sides. And uh, there were three issues that were on the table till the end. And uh, a lot of details and in intricacies involved in those three details that could m benefit or hurt the players. And we just wanted to make sure we were in the right area to, in that moving forward. So the immediate microwave analysis from the Pittsburgh fans is you know, what's good and what's bad for this deal for the Penguins. Do you see anything in this deal that's particularly good? Well, I, I think, I mean, Penguins, the league, the owners, the players, I think that the biggest thing is that um, the league will be in a stronger position moving forward. Uh, revenue sharing is better and, uh, you know, it, it's going to ensure that uh, longevity in a CBA and also moving forward hopefully uh, the system benefits both sides and we can avoid a lockout ever again. Matt, for you, what was the worst part of the lockout? <laughs> the damage to my face, trying to stay in shape. Uh, no, I, I, mean, I got cut in the face three times practicing, you know, hoping that there was a season, so thankfully it wasn't for nothing. Did you stitch yourself up? Uh, no, I uh, didn't need stitches for any. Well, I did need stitches, but there was I couldn't for one of them, and uh, didn't need stitches, which is good. Did this news change your approach on the ice today? Sorry. Did this news change your approach on the ice this morning? No, I mean, this is the one benefit of having a, a large group of guys here uh, from day one. You know, fairly consistently is that we've practiced hard, and uh, you know, no guy we had, we didn't do anything today that we haven't done you know, for the last three months, and I think that that's going to help us moving forward.